Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through position vectors. And so let's just think about the idea or the what it means by position. Basically, position vectors is a vector that allows me to tell the position of some point. So for example, if let's say I have two points on xy plane, and let's say point A is 3, 7, and point B is 6, 2, I, I just created these points um, uh, like arbitrarily, randomly, and I want to know what is the position of point A. So of course you'll be asking position of point A, but with respect to what? So the good thing is that on the xy plane, we have something called the origin, or in other words, 0, 0. And we can then say that, oh, if I want to know the position of point A, let's call that OA, the vector OA. And yep, you've probably guessed it. That will simply, since we're starting from 0, 0, that will give me 3 units in the x direction and 7 units in the y direction, and that is OA. And naturally, OB will be 6 units in the x direction and 2 units in the y direction. And so that is convenient because it allows me to have, let's say, like different points. Let's say I have another point here and another point here. And it allows me to tell where each point is via a vector, right? And then the next thing is that, okay, so what if I can tell all these points from the origin? I mean, you, you, you may think it's just the same number, right? Like how, how, how useful is it? Uh, but the thing is, let's say I have many, many points. And now I ask you, what is A, B? I have two points A and B, and I want to say, I want to get from A to B. So first thing, let's think, what, what is that vector from A to B? It simply looks like this, right? From A all the way to B, the yellow one, the yellow one is my vector, right? A, B. How do I get from A to B? And here we see the power of position vectors because you see that all the vectors, O, A, O, B, they share the common point O. So if I want to get from A to B, all I have to do is from this point, the starting point A, I can go to the common point O, and then I go to my new point, right? Because they all share O. So I can go A, walk to O, and then from O, I can walk to B. So that basically tells me that A, B can simply be A, walk to O, right? And then from O, I walk to B. And what is AO? AO is simply negative of OA, right? AO is simply OA, but negative, so I flip it around. And so this is simply negative of OA, and I add OB, which is from the top, as you can see. And this gives me AB, which is simply uh, negative 3 plus 6, that gives me 3. And negative 7 plus 2, that gives me negative 5. There we go. So that's the power of position vectors. You can have many, many points, point C, point D. And, and you can say, what is CD? You simply go from C, go to the common point O, and then go to D. Or what is a, D. You just start from A, go to the common point O, go to D. You can always use the common point O to get from one place to wherever else you want to go to. That's position vectors.